guys, Eric King with another YouTube video. Today we'll be looking at the McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 line Joker as seen in Mortal Kombat 11. No box, so let's jump right into the review. First impressions right off the bat, this thing is ripped straight from the Mortal Kombat 11 video game. Uh, I couldn't, you know, this thing looks just like Joker. Um, straight from the video game, like I said, he's got some really, really nicely sculpted details in his face. Plenty of wrinkles here, you can see it with a little bit of shading. His eyes are painted very well. He's got some black eyeshadow around there. Very, very menacing smile. Got that nice red makeup going across his face. He has a very nice head sculpt and a very nice hair sculpt. It's all green. Yeah, completely green. Sculpted all the way through very, very nicely. Not only does he have a nice face sculpt, his entire body and outfit is sculpted incredibly well. It looks like actual clothing. Just removing accessories real quick. Um, let me get a better close up. Here I am back, guys. I turn the brightness up just a little bit more. You guys can see all this incredible detail. Uh, his pinstriped suit looks incredibly well done. You guys can see all this really, really nice texture he has in the entire suit. It looks like uh, kind of cross hatching type of artwork. It looks incredibly well done. You can see his shirt completely solid green. He does have a sculpted collar and some patterns going across his chest here and his shirt he got some uh suspenders here they even sculpted in the little buckles right there and the the buttons to his shirt can be seen sculpted in right there as well he has a nicely sculpted rose right there little boutonniere like i said with the jacket completely well done that texture goes all the way along down the arms the hands do have a unique uh texture themselves likely reminiscent of leather he has uh glove lines going down his and like I said, and both these hands are in trigger finger formation. Um, he does have really nicely sculpted pockets as well. Uh, the lapels here. The inside of the back of his jacket is a brown color as seen in the inside painted brown as seen in the video games. So you can actually see the copyright in there, you know. Pretty nice way of hiding it. And the sculpting in the back of the shirt does extend all the way back there. It is glued on. This entire upper portion is glued on. So if you want to remove it, you would literally have to rip it off. Uh, I forgot to mention the details on the back of the jacket, all sculpted very well. This is a very old style suit, but done very well. Same thing going down with the pants. These are very nicely sculpted pinstripe dress pants. That um, same detail goes all along uh, these purple pants. You guys can see here he has a belt sculpted in. Got the loops there, got the whole buckle up front. Not painted of course, but it does look very nice. Uh, this whole little um, pinstripe detail and this texturing going all along the bottom. Um, I think I noticed that the arms and these knee joints are just a little bit different colored than the uh, like thigh and the shins. But it doesn't look too bad. Um, lastly, we got the feet here. Got some nice little dress shoes with that leather-like detail. Got some nicely sculpted laces. No treads. Actually, yeah, there's some treads right there, some leather detail. Okay, so that was a look at the figure. Now let's take a look at the accessories. A base, this time not a DC one. It's the Mortal Kombat stand, just like every McFarlane figure. He comes with a cane. Very nicely sculpted. looks just like the one in the game. Um, you guys can see here he has a skull here. It's like a pickaxe type of cane, you know, blunt end and a stabbing end. Um, some nice silver paintwork going around here. Nothing too much on the sculpting save for this uh, top portion here. I would have really liked to see some dry brushing or some detail on the brown, but uh, you know nothing too big. Normal cane. Lastly, he does come with a knife. He does use this knife for many of his tags in the game. Just a simple silver combat knife. It's pretty large, and it has a very, very uh, basic colored handle. You know, brown. Got those three rivets right there for like bolts, I guess, in there. Um, pretty, uh, mediocre coloring. I really would have liked to see some different coloring. And it's a little bit oddly shaped. And these hand these accessories do fit very nicely in his hands. Easily. Fits in really, really nicely. And looks very good with the figures you guys saw earlier. And the knife just slips in the hand as well. Super easy. Uh, I actually did see this knife with my Arkham Knight figure. So, that was the accessories. Now let's get on to Joker's articulation. So, despite the Joker being from this McFarlane DC Multiverse line, um, his articulation is not bad for his sculpt, but it is quite hindered in some places. First and foremost, let's start with the head. 
It goes up, down, full 360, side to side movement, really, really nice uh, ball joint hitting, get him looking pretty crazy, you see that? Uh, arms do do a full 360, a little bit hindered by the jacket, arms do go up about that high. We do, we do have a nice uh, bicep swivel here. I really don't like the cutoff though, I wish it would have been more of like a divot type of thing, it's just a straight cutoff right there. On both sides, we got double jointed elbows. A little bit stiff still. I don't really like to move this figure too much. Hands can do a full 360, and we get that regular uh, articulation in the wrist on both sides. I really enjoy that it works on the gloves more so than some other figures I've seen. Uh, he does have a little bit of torso movement, but not really anything at all. Uh, nothing in the waist either. It's just because of the sculpt, I believe. Legs do go forward, and they can go a little bit higher up, but... There's a little bit of stress marks right here. You guys can see a lighter plastic. I don't really like going any farther than this. Same thing on the other side, though. You can see it already. Some stress marks building right there. Um, legs do go out all the way, though, just fine. You got two double-jointed knees on both sides. A little bit tight, but it does work. We have a 360 rotation on the foot. It, yeah, I can do a full 360. If I can go up, down, we get a nice little ankle pivot and a toe articulation. So not bad, pretty standard for your McFarlane Multiverse. Um, lastly, let's show some size comparisons. Here we are back with the size comparison. Um, real quick, I'm going to compare him to some DC figures. And of course, you know, why wouldn't I compare him to his greatest arch rival, the Red Hood, both from video games. This is from Mortal Kombat. This one's from the new Gotham Knights video game. They are basically the exact same height. And you know, uh, what more greater duo could you want? Jason Todd and the Joker does look really clean together, and I like how their video game aesthetics uh, fit together pretty well. Here we are back, guys, with my favorite and final comparison. Always gotta have my favorite custom, my Batman, Robert Pattinson, and the Joker. These two just look stunning together. They are companion pieces, like I said. Probably the best companion piece you could get for your Joker and Batman collection. You know, these things... These two look amazing, you know, I could see these in the same universe, if anything. You know, fits and scale very well and don't look too far apart from each other. Now let's get on to some final thoughts. So here I am with my final thoughts, guys. I think this is one of the nicest figures ever. Um, Articulation-wise, it's lacking quite a bit, uh, but sculpt-wise, it is beautiful. Um, you guys are wondering where this gun is from, and like I said in my last review, I do love the added playability of, you know, mix and match weapons. This is a revolver from the... West, or, uh, I think it was Wild West Spawn, from the McFarlane Spawn Classics line, and it looks incredibly well. It's a revolver. It goes with Joker. Here we have the Thomas Wayne Batman gun. This also fits in his hand. You know, I just love the realistic look of this and the cartoony look of this. Um, I would definitely recommend this figure. It is. I've seen it quite a bit everywhere now. I got this one at Walmart, but you can definitely find it at GameStop and any other big retailer. So guys, that was a review. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, peace.